Hashtag comedian Matt Raff is uh, trending like crazy right now. Yeah. You've been seeing this? Yeah, I got tickets. You got, what? I have tickets. How did you get tickets? Oh, well, you know. For where? For what? For when? From, from, for, for the Raff. <laughs> well, he's all, he's a world tour right now. A world tour. So, I mean, you're going to go see him in Dublin? Probably going to go see him in Iceland. Iceland, yes. Well, he's sold out. Except, So if you need tickets to Matt Rife's show in Iceland, talk to my man Sebastian. He could hook you up. I got him. Um, I'm not sure. Can you look up how old Matt Rife is real quick? In he's turn 17. No. Oh, I thought he was he 17. probably started when he was that young. I know the kid, by the way. Okay? He's a good guy. Good kid. Happens to be good looking. All right? Chicks dig him. When I was uh, trying to think of when this was, I think right after I got divorced and I was in Chattanooga, Tennessee, he Wait. was working there. Did that have anything to do with Matt Rivals while you got divorced? Mm, it happened before that. Oh. So I don't know. Maybe he swooped. Maybe there's something I don't know about. Maybe. Yeah. How old is he? He's 28. Okay. 28 years old. So I think I started comedy when I was 28. He's already 12 years under his belt right now. Okay. So he started when he was, let's see here, that would have been 16 or 17 or something like that. So he's been touring a while. He's been out there working on his craft. Um, and he's, he's blowing up because he's good looking, right? And he takes his shirt off. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's all over the, uh, I think he got big. Well, let's see here. He was on MTV's Wildin' Out, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a show I don't watch. <laughs> um, he was a contestant on NBC's comedy competition show, Bring the Funny, which I haven't seen. But he's all over TikTok. This is a this is like you know how Dane Cook got really big because of MySpace. Yeah. Matt Raff is blown up because of TikTok. So he's figured out how to use TikTok and really get tons of followers. But I think it might have something to do with, you know, that he's basically a male model. Looks like. I mean, I feel like if Coble worked out nonstop, <laughs> this is what you can do. You can pull this off, Coble. <laughs> um, but he's got like 3.6 million followers on Instagram. And, um, I wouldn't even wake up for 3.6 million. And there are comedians that are like, so this is what I've been noticing uh, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Comedy clubs are posting pictures of their marquee saying, do not ask us for Matt Reif tickets. We are sold out. So uh, good for him. Good for Matt Reif. Uh, his well, tour is called Problematic. It's a world tour right now. It's been selling like crazy. Yeah. Well, he's not the only one that takes his shirt off. I mean, you. I mean, come on. A lot of you guys take your shirts off. We've comedy. been doing this for a long time. He's just copying. All right, so let's go. Let's show some pictures of other comedians. So now what's also trending is other comedians posting pictures of them with their shirt off next to Matt Reif. Yeah. So Hits here's Donnie one Baker. Donnie Baker, the bastard maker. Yeah. Standing next to, <laughs> look, but look, he's got, what is that called? What is that's that? That's a male, that's a romba. Uh, a romper. Romper. It's yeah. got like a zipper, but look, he's got something in his pants leg there too. Looks like he put a Bud Light can down there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is, yeah. So that's, that's him. I forgot what, what and there's uh, Brad Williams next Oh, yeah, to. Brad's much sexier, I thought. That's a, that's a big champagne glass he's holding. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a normal-sized champagne glass. <laughs> uh, what else we got? And we got Burt Kreischer. Burt, yeah. Who's uh, the OG of taking the shirt off. The guy she told you not to worry about, and you. So I thought, well, let me weigh on in, on this. We had a yeah. sexy man uh, photo shoot up in here. We tried to get on the Focus cover magazine, and I said, Alan, let's cook up something. And uh, I thought we'd be a little bit different about it, a little bit more clever. So now we have... <laughs> Matt's holding you. Yeah. Now I put this on right before we went live, <laughs> uh, about an hour and a half before the show started. I posted that on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and I put on their caption this, hashtag Matt Ruff. Yeah. I would say especially my fans, over 50% have no idea what I'm doing and why I'm doing this. <laughs> and they don't houses. like it. The, all they see is two dudes. Well, it's Pride Month, too. Well, there's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then other people do know what I'm doing and think it's funny. So, I mean, we've already got 85 comments in less than an hour or so. Um, but what we're going to do is I'll go through these later. 
we'll pick some of our favorite ones and we'll revisit this next week. But uh, yeah, that's what's that's that's what's a trend. That's trending right there, now. definitely. Hashtag Matt Rife. Hey, if you like that, you can watch the whole thing right here. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down here. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.